Same time. So I absolutely could not, could not comma not share this with you guys. Like, totally visionary to me this morning. Um, yesterday I was on the phone with my health coach, um, who is helping me transform my body and become the person I want to be, have more energy, all of that stuff. And um, I, you know, we had this conversation about making this whole game, this whole process playful. And it's just a game. It's just I want to see if I can do this. And um, I, she was like, you know what? You do these visualizations ex exercises every morning. Why don't you try to put your health and eating healthy in your visualization exercise? And I was like, why haven't I done this before? <laughs> and so I did that this morning. And I was like, I feel so healthy. And I just like went on this spiel. Um, you know, I just went on, I, was, I got on a roll. And what I realized is, and this is so funny because we hear these, this stuff all the time, and I'm so sorry, I'm sure it's so loud. Um, what I realized is, you know, my body is totally a temple. And I've heard that, and I'm using that saying because I know you've heard it. But here's what I'm, here's what I really want to get at my body is a vessel for my soul and that hit home for me i was just collegoing i was just visualizing and i said my body is the vessel for my soul and i that it just it struck me and i was like yeah that's so true i wouldn't like if, if i'm past say if i passed away and i have an urn with my ashes in it, i'm not gonna cover my urn or fill my urn with you know, chemicals and grease and gross stuff. Like, I'm not going to do that because I value, you know, my soul. And so I thought, you know, the same thing is, my body is the same thing. I imagine, like, my body is this beautiful, elaborate, 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 <laughs> elaborate vase. And it's holding my soul. It's this vessel that holds something that is so powerful and so influential to who I am and what I am. I mean, if it weren't for my soul, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be having this conversation. I wouldn't be connecting with you on a heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul level. And I was like, I can't even imagine looking at a vase and pouring shit in it. Like, if I'm going to put stuff in it, it's going to be all natural. It's going to be, you know, something that's going to make my body, make my soul shimmer and, and be bright and be like a beacon in the night, you know what I mean? Like, um, and so I wanted to share that just kind of insight with you, because um, for me it was so powerful. I was like, you know, I, I had the realization, and then I got so sassy, and I was like, ain't nobody gonna put shit in my face. Like, ain't nobody ha like, mm mm, uh uh, peer pressure. No, my soul is way too valuable. My heart, my like inside is just too valuable for me to fuck up this vessel, for me to like screw up this body, this one thing that I have that has been given to me to embody my soul so that I could even know what it is, so I could even experience it, so they could even share it with you. So um, huge visualization or huge realization this morning and I, I hope it was helpful for you because really if it weren't for this body, I wouldn't be talking to you, I wouldn't be living this life, there would be no such thing as Carly on Facebook Live, there would be no such thing as a piece of positivity studio. There would be no such thing as enjoying a cup of tea and having that fuel my soul and fuel my inspiration and all of that jazz. Like, it just would not be a thing. And so, um, something that I was struggling with was going to, like, you know, barbecues and parties, and there'd be brownies, and there'd be this, and there'd be that. And now that I realize that, you know, my body is a vessel that contains my soul, like, I'm not going to pour shit in, a, in my vessel, in my body, that isn't going to make my soul, my heart, my whatever, better. So it's going to be so much easier to go to, you know, go to a party and be like, mm, no, yeah, I'm not going to eat that. And they'll ask why, and I'll say, yeah, well, because I just don't do that. It's a part of who I am now. Now I'm, I don't do that. I just don't. Um, it's a new part of my identity. But anyway, I thought I'd share. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, the realization that I had, and I hope that you you enjoy my beautiful sunglasses. I like never wear them on Facebook Live. <laughs>
<laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that if you just caught the end of this, that you go back and watch the whole thing, because there are, uh, I think this realization is really big, and if we just shift the way we think about our bodies, um, we will really be able to have an impact on the way we really go through life. So, okay, I love you guys.